East Coast Surfing Championship is an event that after 53 years needs no introduction. Really, the better question would be, what's new? The way this thing is growing. So we brought in a couple of experts, one from the JCs, Linda King, and a local pro surfer, Philip Good. We're glad to have you guys here, and um, we need the skinny. We've brought you in to extract intel. What is going on from this year's surfing championship? Um, well, this year with the Coastal Edge ECSC presented by Vans, we've got a lot of new events. We've brought in a couple new sponsors as well. We've got the Geico 5K, and we're looking to build up a lot of runners for that. It's going to be a lot of fun at the beach. We also have a new event called Rudy Palooza. That's what really kicks off our event this year. It's Sunday at Rudy Inlet. We're going to have boats tie up together, and we're going to cheer on the sup racers as they do the course in Rudy Inlet. We'll wrap up that and then go visit the Super Grom. This is their 15th anniversary, so we're going to go cheer on the local surfers. Um, it's for children, and it's a very fun family day. We'd like a lot of people there to just cheer them on. And then we finished that first Sunday with our preliminary Miss ECSE, and that's yeah. going to be at Calypso. That's a very busy first day kickoff. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, this year, new, Saturday night on the 22nd, we have a headliner. We've got the Rock of 80s tour. They actually scheduled our event on their tour, and it's going to be the Smithereens, the Romantics, and the Motels. So we're no. very, very excited. That's going to be so much fun. Mm -hmm. It is. Now, I have to go back, though. Super Grom. Need clarification. Philip. What's a super grom? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably just all the kids under 10, 12 years old, maybe somewhere around there, just kind of learning how to surf and maybe doing their first event Aww. or something like that. It's always awesome to watch. So what's your favorite part of this local surfing these waves? Um, probably just because I grew up here. I love surfing the jetty. That's where the contest is going to be. and I surf the jetty all year round. So. Probably my favorite part about surfing here. So, because Rudy Palooza, I really see it like the um, the water version of being at the center of the track at NASCAR. Yep, you're there for fun. Yeah. It's early in the morning, but bring out your boat. It's a $15 entry fee, and that's going towards charity. It's supporting the Rudy Inlet Foundation as well as VBJC's charities. So it's a it's going to be a great morning of fun. And what's really unique about this is normally the sup race. It's a four mile course. And it's a solo event, so they're normally in the water just really pushing themselves, and to have that cheering section is really going to help promote it. Yeah. I mean, I can remember running the rock and roll half, and I don't oh, think yeah. I would have made it even half <laughs> without the people along right. the course. That's the idea. Yeah, cheering, that would help, definitely. Now, things we haven't touched on yet, flag football, BMX, mm -hmm. volleyball. They're all coming in. We've got Misty May coming back to do her volleyball camp as well, so that'll be a lot of fun. And all those events can be found online at the website. Um, also new, we have a cornhole tournament this year. There's a purse uh, for the winner. So, no oh way. yeah. So if you and your friends enjoy cornhole and you think you are the best, come out and register and compete for ECSC. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I can see that getting heated. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So great volleyball camp. What's the BMX gonna look like? Well, that's brought in by Vans. Um, they do the half pipe each year on the beach it gets built out and you come out and watch and cheer them on it the talent it takes to do that and the skill that's not me i can't do that i'm always very very impressed by the tricks that they do if, if i could walk a half pipe <laughs> i would i would consider myself accomplished <laughs> me too and then flag football yep they come out every year well not every year but they're out this year um, they're bringing a lot of teams. They'll be competing towards the further end of the beach, closer to 11th Street, and they'll have a little tournament going. It's going to be a high-intensity sport. Competing in the sand is tough. Oh, yeah. And they're playing football. So it's going to be a good show. And your, your 5K, is that run in the sand, or is that going to be run? It starts on Atlantic. They go out and they come back, and they finish on the boardwalk. Um, so it's a boardwalk finish, and there's a after party for the competitors. They come out, we do an award ceremony, you know, do a toast to all the runners. And it's a really good. fun event. So the key to everything, surfing competition. Give us the lowdown. Who's competing? Uh, this year it's a QS 3000 event hosted by the WSL. And um, there'll be people from all over the world, Brazil, Europe, Australia, Africa. The level of talent has grown tremendously in the past few years so 
it'll be really cool to watch this year, especially since we have our own local past champion from last year, Michael Dunphy, will be doing it as well. Nah, hi. So there's there's even an app for this. So find that <laughs> app, check out picks from last year's event, and even get the surf report at surfecsc.com. For Hot Ticket, I'm Michelle Seeger.